please check out the announcement video recently posted. I will provide a link to that video in the description box below. It is in response to the Aries July 2017 Love and Romance reading. Your input is very much needed. Hello, all of my beautiful Aries, Sun, Moon, and Rising Sign friends. My name is LaChan with Power Life Hypnosis, and this is your August 2017 Love and Romance reading. As always, I would like to say thank you so much to all of those who thumbs up and like my videos, especially the July 2017 love reading. Thank you so much for all your likes, for your thumbs up. Thank you for commenting and sharing and illuminating the issues that were discussed in that reading. I truly appreciate that. If you'd like to book a private reading with me, please email me today at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. If you're single and interested in learning about who your future long-term romantic partner is, such as when and where you'll meet your partner, what your partner will look like, how to recognize him or her, as well as align yourself with your partner and the relationship of your dreams, please email me today at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com for a future partner reading. All the details for private as well as future partner readings are in the description box below. So please check those out. These are general readings, so the messages may or may not resonate with you. If they do not resonate with you, please check your moon and rising sign videos as those messages may. And if these messages do resonate, please check your moon, sun, and rising sign videos in order to get a complete picture of your love and romantic relationships during the month of August 2017. Alrighty, so I will go ahead and get started on your reading for August, my Aries friends. Okay, actually, before I start, there is one thing that I would like to say. Please check out the announcement video that I have recently posted in response to the Aries reading because I would really like to receive your input and your insight regarding what is discussed in the video. Okay, so I have for you the clover. letter as well as the lilies okay so the clover the letter and the lilies let me take a look at these okay so there are different ways that I can see this going one way that I can see here is I can see clearly that this letter card being in the middle is the focus card saying that there's going to be some type of written message that is going to be the focus here. And this can be an email, this can be a text message, this can be an actual letter, this is some kind of written word, this can be talking over social media, anything like that is going to be the focus here. And it looks like you may receive a change of fortune in your romantic relationships because of this letter bringing you peace or it could be that some of you receive a change in fortune because you send to your your partner a written message of letting them go or something like that but it looks like however this works out this letter is going to be bringing you some peace bringing you some happiness bringing you serenity as well and it looks like there's going to be a positive outcome going on here. So that is very good. You may be releasing yourself of some burdens from your relationship or burdens of your partner as well. So another way that I can see this going is for some of you, it looks like you may be receiving a reconciliation message from an older male. And I know that many of you born under the moon sign or rising sign of Aries are experiencing a relationship with a narcissist, a psychopath, or a sociopath, otherwise known as someone with anti-personality, I'm sorry, anti-social personality disorder, the psychopath and sociopath. A lot of you are in relationships with these types of individuals. And if that is so, and if this meaning applies, such as the reconciliation letter, the reconciliation message from this older male, if this applies to you, then I would like to explain to you that narcissists and psychopaths and sociopaths, they do something always called 
hoovering. And this hoovering was named after the Hoover vacuum and it is a tactic that is used to suck you back in the relationship. So this occurs when you try to leave the relationship and then the narcissist or the psychopath or sociopath, I'm just going to say narcissist to make it easier, but I am, you know, lumping them together in this statement. But it happens when you try to leave the narcissist and this person comes back to you saying, um, I need to be with you. Please be with me because um, I need you because I'm sick. I need you because my, my mother is sick. I need you because this reason and they do whatever they can they actually do whatever they can they will say whatever they have to say to suck you back in the relationship so if this is applying to you if you have tried to leave this relationship and this person is trying to suck you back in and suck you back by hoovering you back into this relationship please understand that that is what is going on that does not necessarily mean that you have to respond to the hoover you do not have to and i suggest that you do not but know that this may be coming as well okay so let me see if there's anything else that i can see in here okay it looks like there's going to be a positive outcome going on from however that plays out however this situation plays out okay so the next prediction that i have for you i have meetings main person this is the female as well as work and occupation okay let me take a look at these so it looks like during the month of august there's going to be someone in particular this may be a female however these are general readings so however this resonates with you but there's going to be someone who will support you in an emergency situation during the month of august and that is what i see from this combination and it could be a professional female someone like a counselor or something like that that may provide you with some assistance and some support and if not that, it looks like you may be communicating with people around your workplace about love and romance, maybe meeting someone there, something like that. However, the predominant meaning that I'm getting from these is that there's going to be somebody who will come and help you during the month of August regarding your romantic relationships. And this is also saying to apply your intelligence as well during the month of August when it comes to love and romance. Okay. So those are your predictions. So I'll go ahead and get into your Oracle guidance. So usually I take the first, um, and not the first, but usually I pull three cards. And this time I did pull three cards, but I also considered the card on the bottom of the deck as well, because I feel as though it was necessary to put in here as it does relate to your situation very much so. And the card that's on the bottom of the deck is number 45, time to go. The first card that I pulled here is, and that card came up in the reverse, by the way. This is not for you, number six in the reverse. And then I have here number 26, happy, happy, in the reverse again. And then number 28, building blocks. Okay. So, so taking these cards together, so first I'll go with this time to go card. And this time to go card is saying that at this time, especially considering what is going on in your romantic relationship with this person, it says that you may be feeling as though, you know, your love life is over and that you've reached the very bottom and this is the end. However, it is not. Everything is happening in divine timing and everything is happening as it should. And destiny is at work in this situation. And know that your soul is still evolving and still moving forward. And even though it may be easy to think that, you know, this is the end and that all is lost. It may be easy to think that because your small self has fears and that's okay and that's natural. However, your soul and your spirit and your higher power, God, the universe, whoever your higher power is, they know what is going on. They know your destiny. They know how everything is unfolding. So trust that. Trust that everything is going to be okay regardless of what you are experiencing at this time during the month of August in your love and romantic relationships. So... The first card that I pulled here is number six, not for you. And this card came out in the reverse. And this card not for you says that 
there's nothing romantic about chasing after what is fleeing from you so this is saying to walk away from a situation don't chase after what you can't have don't go after what is not available to you there's nothing romantic or nothing fun about that and there's nothing romantic also about refusing to see red flags within your relationship so if this applies to you then the best thing to do is to walk away because there are other relationships out there waiting for you there is other there are other loves out there waiting for you there's something better out there waiting for you as well and the best thing to do at this time is just practice radical acceptance and surrender to what you are experiencing surrender practice practice radical acceptance accept the situation as it is look at the situation as it is without putting your emotions too much into it look at it for what it is detach yourself see the information see the situation and another thing that i just got to say to you is if you are having some kind of difficulty in your relationship um, judging your partner's character or something like that notice them just watch them watch their character from an objective standpoint separate yourself and just watch them and see their character see their behaviors and that may illuminate your feelings or whatever you're thinking about considering with this partner that is a message that i got to say to some of you not all of you so that will resonate with some so know that there's something better waiting for you something better that's out there for you and again destiny is at work here so that is comforting news okay and then i have here number 26 happy happy and this card is saying that no matter what is going on in your love and romantic relationship no matter what is going on in your life right now don't take yourself too seriously be gentle with yourself don't be hard on yourself laugh have fun have as much fun as you can during the month of august be easy on yourself be happy and be as lighthearted as you can be during the month of august and moving forward i have here number 28 building blocks and this card focuses on the foundations in which you build your life and you build your love upon so our relationships are built upon our values our morals our beliefs and things like that so this is saying to take a look at those things take a look at your values your morals your beliefs and see if the values and things that you had when you originally got into the relationship if those things still hold true for you if those values morals and beliefs still hold true for you or have you evolved since then have you evolved and focus on those and what am i trying to say and i'm not honing in on those but focus on those and rework any any values any morals any beliefs that need to be reworked in order to move forward and have a relationship in the future that will be built on love honesty communication a genuine desire to love one another eight nine ten okay this is a one energy so this is new beginning so again for new beginnings in your romantic relationship focus on relationships that the foundation is built upon genuine love care and is not one-sided as well a desire to genuinely get to know one another and love each other and that is going to be the best type of relationship to be and not one that is one-sided and this is especially if you have been in a relationship with someone with antisocial personality disorder or someone who is a narcissist because what they do is they create one-sided relationships and it's likely that in the beginning of your relationship this person was the one who attempted to suck you and i did not attempt to suck you in but suck you in through flattery through gifts through kindness and things like that so make sure that moving forward the foundations of your relationship are built on mutual love mutual respect mutual care and the mutual desire to get to know one another Alrighty, so those are the messages that i have for you for your love and romantic relationships for the month of august thank you so much for watching this reading please subscribe to my channel if you have not done so already because i will have some really really wonderful things coming up for you guys the first video that i'm going to come out with is going to be a self-assessment test three self-assessment tests actually in order for you to determine whether or not you should stay in your relationship or you should leave so please look out for those as well subscribe to my channel so you know 
know when this information will be coming out. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you would like to book a private reading with me, please email me today at powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com if you are interested in a future partner reading. Again, powerlifehypnosis at gmail.com. Thank you so much, and I look forward to seeing you here again very, very soon. Bye, Aries.